Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to be solving a factorial equation. We are given that m plus 2 factorial divided by m minus 1 factorial is equal to m plus 1 factorial. And we need to find the value of m. But we know that m factorial is the product of all positive numbers between 1 and m. That is, m factorial is equal to m multiplied by m minus 1, multiplied by m minus 2, right down to 3 times 2 times 1. So if we take a number like 3, we have 3 factorial, which is equal to 3 times 2 times 1. And this is equal to 6. If we take 4 factorial, we are going to have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is equal to 24. From this definition, we can see that 1 factorial is equal to 1. And conventionally, 0 factorial is also equal to 1. Now let's get back to the equation. We are given that m plus 2 factorial divided by m minus 1 factorial is equal to m plus 1 factorial. And from the definition above, we can write this as m plus 2 multiplied by m plus 1 multiplied by m multiplied by m minus 1 factorial divided by m minus 1 factorial is equal to m plus 1 multiplied by m multiplied by m minus 1 factorial. From here, we can cancel out m minus 1 factorial. And so this implies that m plus 2 multiplied by m plus 1 multiplied by m is equal to m plus 1 multiplied by m and multiplied by m minus 1 factorial. From the given equation, we can see that m cannot be 0 and m cannot be negative 1. So we are free to divide both sides by m multiplied by m plus 1. That is, if we divide the left-hand side by m into m plus 1, and the right-hand side by m into m plus 1, then m will cancel m, and m plus 1 will cancel m plus 1. And on the right-hand side, m cancels m, and m plus 1 cancels m plus 1. And this implies that m plus 2 is equal to m minus 1 factorial. And for easy simplification, if we let m minus 1 to be equal to n, then m becomes n plus 1. And so the equation becomes n plus 1 plus 2, which is equal to n factorial. And this implies that n plus 3 is equal to n factorial. And if we rewrite this starting with n factorial, we are going to have n factorial, which is equal to n plus 3. And subtracting n from both sides, we are going to have n factorial minus n, which is equal to 3. Again, from the definition above, we know that n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial. And so this implies that n into n minus 1 factorial minus n is equal to 3. And since n is common on the left-hand side, we can factor it up to have n into n minus 1 factorial minus 1, which is equal to 3. From here, we can see that the product of these two numbers is 3. And we know that 3 is a prime number. 
So there are only two possibilities, which are three times one or one times three. So this implies that n is equal to three and n minus one factorial minus one is equal to one or n is equal to one and n minus one factorial minus one is equal to three. And if n is three, then n minus one factorial becomes two factorial and two factorial minus one is just equal to one. So n equal to three satisfies this equation. And if n is one, then one minus one factorial becomes zero factorial and zero factorial is one. One minus one is zero and zero is not equal to three. So n equal to one does not satisfy this equation. And therefore, n is equal to 3. But recall that m is equal to n plus 1. And therefore, m is equal to 3 plus 1. And this implies that m is equal to 4. So we are saying that if m plus 2 factorial divided by m minus 1 factorial is equal to m plus 1 factorial, then m is equal to 4. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.